Good Monday to all of you. Good Monday. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. We're so excited for what God is doing. We're thankful for you being tuned in. This is Motivation of Monday. We're thankful, amen, to be on this morning. I am your shoe. Like I said, all this stuff going on. I am your truly God servant, Bishop Lamonte Calvin. Grateful to be with you. Thank you for tuning in to Motivation of Monday. To, amen. We're so excited that you are here. We're glad that you're tuned in. We're glad that you're a part of what God is doing in this season, in this hour, in this moment. Amen. Good Monday. Good Monday to all of you. We're grateful. We're thankful. Amen. That you are tuned into uh, Motivation of Monday. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're rejoicing and we're glad in it. This is the day that God has made. We're rejoicing and be glad in it. Why? Because God made it. Amen. And we're so grateful for it. Thank you for tuning in this morning. Thank you for being here with us on this morning. I am glad that you're here. I'm glad you're a part of Motivation of Monday. I'm glad you're a part of what God is doing in this season, in this hour. Amen. Now, what I need you to do is I need you to tag as many people you can, text as many people you can, tell them Motivation of Monday is on. Let them know that we are here. We are ready. We're ready to see what God is going to do. We're ready to see what God is going to say. So let them know Motivation of Monday is on. And thank you once again that you are tuned into the hot spot. Come on. You're tuned into the hot spot called Motivation of Monday. And we're grateful for it, thankful for it. Amen. And all that God is going to do. Listen, we're going to pray. Amen. And after I'm done praying, we're going to go right into God's word. We're going to go into the word of God. Amen. After I'm praying, we're going to go into God's word and we're going to believe God for his word. Amen. Somebody, amen, tag someone, text them, Instagram them, Telegram them, do whatever you got to do to make sure they know that Motivation of Monday is on. Hallelujah. Come on, let them know that, they, that we're on. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for keeping us, guiding us, protecting us, loving us. God, you shield us. God, we thank you for all the things that you do. We thank you for all the things that you are to us. God, we'll forever be grateful for this moment. But this is the day that you have made, and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. We're glad to be in your presence. We're glad to be a part of what you're doing in this moment. Now, God, as those that are watching now, those that are going to watch later, that you will bless them even as they tune in. And we give you glory for all the things you're going to do. We give you glory for all the things you're going to say. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. 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 Somebody clap your hands with me. Hallelujah. You are officially tuned in to the hot spot. You are officially tuned in to the hot spot called Motivation Monday. We're grateful. Amen. We're grateful to have you. You're right here at the hot spot called Motivation of Monday. So we're thankful for that. Amen. Somebody ought to be excited. Amen. That this is the day that God has made. And we're rejoicing. We're so excited that you're tuned in. We're excited that you're here. I am your truly God servant, Bishop Lamonte Calvin. I want to thank all of you that have been tuning in week after week, month after month. Come on. We've been five years doing this. And why? Because God has his hands on this ministry. God has his hands on this assignment. And we're grateful to be a part of what God is doing in the season, in this moment. So we thank God for you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, for all of you, amen, that are tuning in, wherever you're tuning in and from, we're grateful for it. We're grateful to have you. We're grateful to be a part of your life. Now, what we need to do, amen, I need you to share it with somebody. Grab your device. Share it with somebody. Tell them Motivation of Monday is on. Grab it and tell somebody Motivation of Monday is on. It's hot. It's ready. We are officially a part of the hot spot. You're officially right here at the hot spot called Motivation of Monday. So let somebody know that you are here and tell them to get on. Amen. Don't be afraid. Tell them to get on and be a part of what God is doing. I want to thank all of you. Amen. Not only uh, do I thank you for being a part of Motivation of Monday. Thank you for praying for us. Thank you for doing what God has called us to do in this season. We're grateful to be able to do the assignment of God to do what God is calling us to do in this hour, in this moment. God is so good. Amen. He is so good, and we're grateful for it. 
And I want to thank God for that. Thank God for allowing us to be a part of what, I mean, to be doing what he called us to do. And I'm so grateful for it. Thank God for my lovely wife, Lady C. You're the one for me. Hallelujah. I love you. There is nothing you can do about it. Amen. And all the things that God is going to do. If this is your first time tuning in, let me know down in the timeline. Say, hey, Bishop, this is my first time tuning in, and I'm grateful to be here. I'm thankful to be here. Now, you said, Bishop, what is it that you have going on that we can be a part of? Amen. You can go this morning, something new just dropped. Amen. You can go and listen to our podcast. You can go right there and view our podcast. Our podcast is on. Amen. You can go and listen to our podcast. You can go whatever thing you, whatever you're doing in this moment, whatever you are in, uh, if you're mowing the yard. Amen. If you're getting ready to do something in the yard, if you're doing some chores, you can go listen to our podcast. It is rolling right now. Amen. It is on, but don't go listen right now because, you know, we're on right now. So, amen. But you can go to our podcast and you can see us on Motivation of Monday. I mean, listen to us on Motivation of Monday as well. And so we're grateful for it. We're thankful for all the things that God is doing in this moment uh, for, for the reason of that. And also, you can join us tonight in prayer. Amen. We are a praying church. Come on. We're still praying. We're still believing God for prayer. Amen. Prayer changes things. Prayer helps things. Come on. Amen. We thank God for the prayer life that he's allowed us to accomplish. Amen. To be on. And uh, we're grateful for it. And also, amen, if you ever coming through the Sykeson area, it is the law that you got to come and see us. <laughs> I made that law. Amen. You got to come and see us. And we'll be grateful that you did. And you'll be grateful. And you'll be glad you did. Some say, hey, Bishop, how can we sow to this? These are ways you can sow to it. And we thank God as you sow your seed, we'll grow. The, God will grow your seed. And we'll believe in God for that. We'll believe in God for increase in this season, increase in this moment. Amen. For what God is doing. So sow to where you want to grow to. And we'll forever. Amen. You'll be thankful for what God is doing in your life. Amen. Other than that. Amen. We are excited to be here this morning. Uh, we're stream, we're trying to stream some extra things this morning. We're trying to do some extra things this morning. Uh, I really need to make sure that you are uh, hearing uh, the word of the Lord. So I make sure that we are here, make sure that we're doing what we're supposed to do, and make sure we're doing the word of God and doing what God's words tell us to do because we are in a season where we need the word of the Lord. We are in a season where we need the word of the Lord. And I want you to be able to, um, uh, I want you to be able to hear God's word. I want you to be able to hear what God is saying in this season, in this moment, and in this time. So guess what, y'all? Amen. It is that moment. What time is it? It's word time. Come on. Somebody shout it. It's word time. It's time for the word of the Lord. Tell somebody, text someone, Instagram them, tell them, it's time for the word of the Lord. Tell them it's word time. Tell them to get up and get on because it's word time. And we're going to go right into the word of the Lord. We're going to see what God is going to say to us this morning. We're going to go into God's word. I believe that God has a word for us. And I believe that God is going to strengthen us through his word. Amen. Let's go. Amen. It's word time. Let's go, y'all. In Romans 8, the 28th chapter, in Romans 8, the 28th chapter, this is what the word of the Lord says. It says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are called according to his purpose. For whom he did for no, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestine it, them he also called, and them he also he also uh, and them who he called he also justified, and whom he justified them he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? My God! If God be for us, who can be against us? And so, oh my God! Now let's go to. Uh, Romans 8 and 18. Watch what the word of the Lord says. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. 
For I reckon the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us. My God, I reckon that the sufferings of this present time is not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. I love these verses. I definitely, I, I love them. I thank God for this word. I thank God for what he's going to say. And you may be saying, Bishop, you don't know what I am facing. You don't know all the pain I'm going through. You don't know all the trouble I'm going through. And God told me to tell you uh, this morning, this is the season. You go beyond the moment. Mm -hmm. God said, I am going to strengthen you to go beyond the moment. I know you may be in pain. I know you be in, may be in some situations. I know you may be in some areas of your life where you feel that no one really gets what you're going through. But God said he's going he's gonna to strengthen you to go beyond the moment. My God, somebody need to take that down, type that down on the timeline. I am willing to go beyond the moment. God is going to give you strength to go beyond the moment. God's going to give you strength to even conquer the moment. You're going to go beyond the moment. I know it may be painful. I know it may be hard right now, but God is going to cause you to go beyond the moment. Somebody shout it with me. Go beyond the moment. This is your hour. This is your moment. This is your season that you're going to go beyond the moment. You're going to go beyond the moment. The moment is just a period. It's a time. It's something right now that you're experiencing. But God is going to strengthen you, sir. God is going to strengthen you, ma'am, to go beyond the moment. Hallelujah. So the Bible said, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and the, and the call according to his purpose. Now, you may be in the state of mind of saying, I don't know if God for me. Now, the Bible said, if we, and we know that one thing that nobody can take from you is the very thing that you know. You say, I know God is good. I know God is present. I know God is the healer. I know God is the way maker. So anything, one thing that you know is that you know what you know. <laughs> That's one thing that you know, that you know what you know. And so what are you saying? And God said, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and are the call according to his purpose. God said, I have purpose for you. God said, the reason I ordain, if you have breath, come on, you have a purpose. If you have a pulse, you have a purpose. If you are breathing, you have a purpose. You may say, Bishop, I made too many mistakes. Guess what? You made the mistakes, but God said, I'm going to, God, there is not one mistake you made. There's not one mess up you made that God can't clean up. Oh, God, am I. Your mess up is still capable of being cleaned up. By who? God. He's the best cleanup man there is. My God. So, therefore, all of the things that you may have experienced in life, all the things you may have suffered in life, you can go beyond the moment. You can go beyond this time, this present time right now. You're saying, but, but Bishop, you don't know how many times I've been in this area. I've been in this zone. I've been in this moment. Well, guess what? We're decreeing today that your moment will not become your monument. My God. That we're decreeing today that once you get beyond this moment, the reason you're going to be able to go beyond this moment is because you're not going to allow your moment to become your monument. You're not going to allow this moment to cause you to quit. You're not going to allow this moment to cause you to give up. You need to share it with somebody. You need, you're not going to allow this moment to cause you to stop trusting God. It is only for a season. Romans, come on. That's what Psalm 30 and 5 said. Weeping may endure for a season. Weeping may endure for a season. Weeping may endure for a season, but joy comes in the morning. Your moment is pushing you towards your moment, your morning. Come on. I say your moment is pushing. You may be having a time crying moment. You may have be having a terrible moment. You may have in a stressful moment. You may be having a depressed moment. But this is not 
the place that belongs to you, you belong in. You are going to go beyond the moment, sir. You're going to go beyond the moment, ma'am. You're going to go beyond this moment that the enemy is trying to trap you in, that he's trying to keep you in. You're going to go beyond. Your mind is going to be changed. Your heart is going to be changed. Guess what? You have another gear. My God, you haven't even seen the other gear. <laughs> that is, God is getting ready to kick in. You know, when you're passing a car on the interstate or or two-lane highway, mostly it happened on two-lane highway, when you're trying to get around that car, hey, man, you realize your car has another gear. You was in drive, but all of a sudden, bam, overdrive kicks in. You are getting ready to pass this moment. My God, this moment, when that car is in your way, you say, I'm trying to get somewhere. This moment, some things have been in your way, and God said, I'm going to allow you, and I'm going to allow you to kick into another gear that you're getting ready to pass this moment. You're getting ready to go beyond this moment. You're going to go beyond what's been blocking you from your future. You're going to go beyond what has been hindering you from advancing in life. You're going to go beyond what's been hindering you from seeing what God has for you. When David showed up on the battlefield, David said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? He said, in other words, what, who, who, who gives him the authority to threaten the people of God? Come on. This is your hour to say, what is this situation? What is this the enemy is trying to do, trying to keep me from the promises of God? God said, I'm going to give you the supplies. I'm going to give you the authority. I'm going to give you the weapons to defeat the giant that's in before you. Come on. David, the Bible said, when Saul tried to put David uh, arm on him, David said, I can't prove this. David said, I, I'm not used to that. I'm going to use what I'm used to. Come on. This is your season to get your bag. This is your season to get your weapon. The Bible said, the weapon of our warfare, I'm not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold, a uh, pulling down of the hindering thing, that thing that has been hindering you, that thing that has been blocking you, that thing that has been keeping you from seeing daylight. But I come to tell somebody this morning, this is your moment. This is your season to go beyond the moment. You're going to see, come on, Isaiah 60 and 1. He said, arise, for the Lord, the light shall shine upon you. He's going to pull you out of darkness. He's going to place you into a place where you're going to be able to know that this is my season. <laughs> you said, this is not, listen, this is my month. This is the moment that I make a movement. Glory to God. This is a moment that's going to be the foundation to your movement. That's that, in other words, you're going to move beyond this moment. You're getting ready to kick into another gear. You're getting ready to go places and do things that you've never done before. You're getting ready to see things you've never seen before. You're getting ready. My God, I preached on yesterday. Stay tuned. In other words, God said, I have not seen, ear have not heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man the things that God has in store for them that love him. But he said, but he has revealed it through the spirit. My God, your spirit man, your, your natural man may be weak. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Come on. You may be want to throw in the towel. You may be want to give up, but you're going to go beyond this moment, sir. You're going to go beyond this moment, man, because we know all things work together for good to them that love God and are the call according to his prayer. Who am I preaching to this morning that you said, Bishop, this word is for me. I'm going beyond this moment. This moment has tried to trap me. This moment has tried to hinder me. This moment has tried to depress me. This moment has tried to cause me to be stressful. But I'm going beyond the moment. I'm going beyond this moment. This moment will not have me bound. This moment will not have me in a season where I don't need to be. I'm going from this moment to a movement. God Almighty, this moment, is getting ready to produce your movement. What God is getting ready is producing you, pushing you to your purpose. So the Bible said, whom he did for no. In other words, God said in Jeremiah, he said, I knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. He said, I knew, I ordained you to be a prophet. God ordained you for this moment. And he said also, he also predestined to become formed. And those he knew, he already predestined. God said, I already had a destiny for you. I already had an assignment for you. 
That's why the drugs can keep you. That's why the relationship can keep you. That's why the, the, the lifestyle that you were in can keep you. And guess what? God said you couldn't die in that because I had a purpose for you. God said you couldn't die in that moment because I designed, I orchestrated. Come on. God is the author and the finisher of our faith. So whoever had faith that you were going to come out of that, God said, I'm writing the story. My God, I want to say it. I got to say it. You, This is your moment to say, this is not the end to my story. I need you to text that. Shout, this is not the end to my story. There's more to my story. Why is it more to your story? So there's about to be a level of glory. There's about to be an advancement of glory. God said, I have some things for you that's going to represent your glory. The reason you're going through this, you got to trust the process. God Almighty, you got to trust the process. You're not going through this for nothing. You're going through this because you're going to something. You're go the reason you're going through is because you're going to. The reason you're going experiencing this now is because God is pushing you towards your later. This moment is only for a season. It's only for a season. I wish you could grab that. It's only for a season. My God, hello. It's only for a season. After this, my God, greater is coming. So watch this. He said, well, whoever he predestined, them he also called. God said, I call you for this. God said, I call you for this moment. He said, them he also called, whom he called, he also justified. So everybody, everything that's trying to bring up your past, you're past that. Come on. Everything that's trying to bring up the old you, you're past that. Everything that's trying to bring up the things of your old, you're past that. You have advanced to a new thing. You're greater. I told them yesterday, I said, when you, rem when you remind me, that is a sign to me that you're keeping me in rewind. In other words, you're rewinding the state, trying to see what I've done in my past. But this is the hour that you're going to move forward. This is the hour that you're going to go beyond the moment. You're going to go beyond the pressure. You're going to go beyond the pain. You're going to go beyond the suffering. You're going to go beyond the, yeah, all these things that the enemy is trying. And he said, I justified you. In other words, I put you, I ordained you. I consecrated you. I chose you. Come on. I elected you. I called you. And God said, whom shall, what then shall we say to these things? No. He said, whom he justified, them he also glorified. God Almighty. Somebody shout the glory. The glory. <laughs> God is about to reveal another level of glory. God is going to reveal another level of glory concerning your life. He's going to reveal another level of glory. Yes, I said another level of glory God is going to reveal concerning your life. You hadn't seen the rest. They hadn't seen the best of you because they hadn't seen the rest of you. But I want to talk for a few minutes. I only got, I got good 10 minutes to talk about something. I want to talk about what's going on in the moment. God said, you're going to go beyond the moment. I want to talk about the moment. See, somebody right now, is watching me, and y'all know what I'm about to do. I'm going to break the word down, acronym, M-O-M-E-N-T. What is going, the first thing you're suffering or dealing with in this moment, M, I want to talk about the misunderstanding. Woo, God Almighty. God said you're going to go beyond the misunderstanding. All the things that has been misunderstood in this season. You, for one, saying, God, why are you letting me go through this? You don't understand. You haven't even gotten to understand. God, I've been doing this. I've been doing that. I haven't done this over here. I used to do. And God, why are you letting me go through this? God said, I'm going to strengthen you even in the season of misunderstanding. That's the first M, y'all. I'm spelling moment. You're going to go beyond the misunderstanding. Everything that was misunderstood. By the way, there are going to be people who are going to come apologize to you for misunderstanding you, for treating you wrong, to, for crossing you the wrong way, to, for doing something. Y'all better share this with your family. Share this with somebody that you're concerned about right now. You, this right here is getting ready to get deep. God said, I'm going to strengthen you that you're going to go beyond the misunderstanding. 
that you were put out of situation. You were put out of the circle because somebody misunderstood you. You were put out, amen, you were. You went the wrong way because something was misunderstood. But God said, I'm going to strengthen you to go beyond the misunderstanding. God said, in the moment of misunderstanding, all the time that you have been misunderstood, all the time that you didn't understand certain things, God said, I'm going to allow you to go beyond that moment. So him, misunderstanding. Somebody need to put that in the timeline. Misunderstanding. Everything I misunderstood, God's going to cause me to stand on in this season. God's going to cause you to stand on the truth. One thing about the truth, it may show up late. It may not show up quick. But when it shows up, it's going to stand in its place. The truth has a place to stand. And some things have been misunderstood. But this is the hour. God's going to cause you to go beyond the misunderstanding. M, the misunderstanding. Everything you miss out. You say it one thing, but they took it as another thing. It caused you to be in a moment. You did one thing. You're good. You did good, but it was taken for bad. God said he's going to strengthen you. M, through the misunderstanding. I got to go through. I got to roll, y'all. He said, I'm causing you to go beyond the moment. The next thing God said, uh, what I'm going to do is, he said, in the moment, M, you have had misunderstanding. He said, oh, the situation got odd. My goodness. You have been put in some odd situation. My God, because of misunderstanding. You have been put in some odd situation because somebody misunderstood you or you misunderstood something else but it's it shifted you into a moment in your moment there's m misunderstanding in your moment oh there's some odd things going on you said this is not typical this is not right come on let's keep it real this right here is not right but i'm gonna go beyond the oddness i'm gonna go beyond every odd feeling every odd situation Every odd time, every odd thing, every odd season, I'm going to go beyond the moment. I'm going to go, go, go beyond the misunderstanding, and I'm going to go beyond the odd situation, the odd place. Some of you are in an odd place, but God has called you. Don't you, don't you allow the odd place to keep you from the set place. God Almighty, who my shot? Don't allow the odd place to keep you away from the set place. I'm helping somebody this morning. Hallelujah. Don't allow the odd thing to keep you from the set thing. That God said, I have set you up. God said, I have called you for this moment. And so I called you for this season. So don't allow your M, your misunderstanding, to cause you to miss what God has for you. Oh, don't allow the oddness, the odd season, the odd pressure, the odd ways, the odd things that are going on around you to keep you from what God has for you. Now, here it is. M, God said, even in the misunders in this moment, things have gotten miserable. <laughs> God said, even in this situation, some things have gotten miserable. You said, when you thought it couldn't get worse, it got worse. But I come to tell somebody this morning, it's working for your good. You're not going through this for nothing. I said that earlier. You're not going through this for nothing. There's a level of glory. Everybody shot. What is misery can get ready to become ministry. God Almighty. What is sin seeming to be misery to you? What is seeming to be a miserable situation is going to be productive. For your ministry. You say, how in the world my divorce going to cause me to have ministry? How in the world my child being lost going to cause me to be misery? God will flip that thing. God will cause you to testify. The Bible said they were overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the words of their testimony. So you're going to go beyond the moment. You're going beyond the mo You're going beyond the misunderstanding. You're going beyond the oddness. You're going beyond the miserable state of life. You're going to go beyond the moment. This is only for a season. God Almighty, y'all need to text that to somebody. You need to tag somebody. Tell them, this is only for a season. When the season is over, 
it's over. Don't allow the moment to cause you to experience a monument. I said it. I'm going to say it again. Say it for the people in the back that did hear me. Don't allow this moment to push you into your season of a monument. You're not going to give up. You're not going to give in. You're going to strengthen yourself. You're going to come above this. You're going to come out of this. You're going to, I decree right now that every, every night, every moment of sleepless nights, you're going to come up out of this. You're going to, you're going to be strengthened. Because why? The next E, E, the, the M, let me start M, moment, miserable, mis no, misunderstanding, O, the odd situation, come on, M, the miserable, amen, situation. Here it is, E, a lot of you, the reason you're going through this moment is you got terribly, you got so connected to this thing emotionally. God said you're going to go beyond the emotional breakdown. You're going to go E, you're going to go beyond the emotional season. You've been getting emotional. You've been an emotional. You've been an emotional wreck. You've been in an emotional wreck. Every time you see somebody else happy, it 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 uh, happy. It it triggers something in you. It it ha it does something to you. But God said, "I'm going to cause you to be strengthened, even in your emotional moments, even in the time you wanted to just say, God, I'm done with all of this.'" God said, "You're going to go beyond the moment." He said, "You're going to go beyond this season. You're going to go beyond the moment. It's only for." A season. Who am I preaching? Who am I helping this morning? You are going to go beyond the, the misunderstanding. Come on. The odd situations. Come on. The miserable state. And then you're going to get out of this emotional breakdown. You're going to come out of this emotional breakdown that you're in right now. That thing that is emotional, you've got an emotion about, but God is going to strengthen you, sir. God is going to strengthen you, ma'am. I'm here to help you to this point. I'm here, to, I'm here to help you in. God said every negative word that has been spoken over you, I decree right now that everything that the tongue has spoke negative about you, God's going to turn that thing around for your good. You in a moment of negative energy. You in a moment, that's what the end stands for. You in the moment of negativity. You in a moment, every time you think something positive, you think by five things negative. Every time you try to do something positive, you end up doing something negative. God, Paul said, when I thought to the good, evil was always present. You have been spoken, things have been spoken negatively about you. Things have been spoken negatively about your, your ministry, about the assignment that God has for you. But you're going to overcome the moment. You're going to go beyond the negativity. You're going to go beyond the negativity that has come up against your church. That pastor, you're going to come. Y'all better tag your pastor. Tell your pastor, it's only for a moment. Tag your leader and tell him, pastor, the negative is going to work for the positive. Ah, Shabo. I said the negative is going to work for the positive. God Almighty. Because the Bible said all things work together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. When I think about the negative thing, I think about the battery post. Anybody right now that's getting ready to drive their car or when you get ready to drive your car on your battery post, there's a negative post and there's a positive post and they both got to work together. Come on. In order for your car to start, the negative post and the positive post got to work together. My God. In other words, every negativity that has hit your life, everything that was negative in your life, God said, you're going to go beyond the moment. God said, I'm going to cause you to go beyond the moment. M, he said, I'm going to cause you to go beyond the misunderstanding. O, I'm going to cause you to go beyond the oddness. M, the I said, I'm going to cause you to go beyond the miserable state. E, I'm going to cause you to go beyond the emotional breakdowns. N, I'm going to cause you to go beyond the negativity. They spoke even. Listen to that person that they told you you would never amount to nothing. You've been in that moment too long. You've been in that thought too long. He said, I wasn't going to be nothing. I guess that's true. I guess that's the way it is. The devil is a lie. You are more than that. You're bigger than that. Well, they say, I ain't going to never have nobody. The devil is a lie. They, they say, I ain't going to never get my business going. The devil is a lie. They say, I never live holy. The devil is a lie. You got to speak. The, the Bible said in Proverbs 18 and 21, 
death and life is in the power of the tongue. I don't know what they said, but I want to know what you're saying. They said one thing, but God is saying another. I don't want to know what they said. I want to know what God said. Whatever God said about you, whatever God said concerning you, that's what you're going to rely on. You are going beyond the negativity. They spoke evil. It had been spoken over you. You even spoke over yourself. Or you may have spoken negative to somebody else. But you got to flip that thing. Instead of speaking negative, I'm going to speak positive about the situation. You got to speak positive even about your own situation. Yeah, you can be talking about, ooh, my back killing me. The devil is a lie. You need to say, my back is healed. My head is healed. Come on. My children are saved. My life is turning around. This is the hour you go beyond the moment. I realize that if you stay in the moment, if you stay in the pit, you'll become pitiful. My goodness. If you stay in the pit, Joseph knew that he had to come out of that pit. In order for him to fulfill his dream, he had to come out of the pits. Sir, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, in order for you to do better, you can't stay bitter. God Almighty. I say in order for you to do better, you can't stay bitter. You might be bitter about some things. You might be mad about some things. But this is the hour to get out of that moment. This is the hour. You don't allow that moment to trap you. Okay, you had a moment. Don't let the moment have you. Y'all need to type that. I had a moment, but I refuse to let the moment have me. <laughs> I had a moment, but I refuse to let the moment have me. I had them. I made some mistakes, but I refuse to be the mistake. This is your moment. This is your season. This is your hour. You say, God, I'm going beyond the moment. I'm going beyond the misunderstanding, the oddness, the miserable state. Emotional breakdown, the negativity. Here it is, e uh, T. You're going beyond the trouble. You're going to go beyond the trouble. You said, Bishop, but I've been troubled. I've been troubled. I've been troubled. I've been troubled. The Bible said we are troubled on every side, but not in distress. In other words, it's not over. It's not over for you. It's not over for your family. You might be in a state right now. You might be in a situation right now. You said, this is, if it get worse than this, it's over. This is not over. It's not over. You're going to go beyond the moment. You're going to come out of this situation. You're going to come out of this trouble. Trust the process. You're going to come out of the trouble. The thing you found yourself in, God said, I'm going to bring you out. He said, I'm going to bring you out. I got to, I got to quote, I got to release this word right here. Here it is. He said, for I reckon that the suffering of this present time. In other words, the suffering of the right now time are not worthy to be compared with the glory. Come on. The manifestation of what God, of the glory, which God shall reveal in us. Not just one person, but all of us. We're coming out of this. Come on. You're going beyond the moment. You're going beyond the season. This is your season to come out of the suffering. This is your season. To come out of the present time. Your now, come on, is not your later. Because what you're going through now is only designed to push you towards your later. It is not going to end like this. Come on, take that. Type it down on the timeline. It will not end like this. I'm going beyond the moment. I'm going beyond the moment that I am. I'm in. I'm going beyond. You're going to go beyond the moment. You're going to go beyond this season. You're going to be go beyond this time. Go beyond the moment. You're going to come out of this earth. You're going to come out of this earth. You're going to be strengthened. You're going to live. You shall live and not die. You shall live and not die. I say you shall live and not die. You shall live and not die. You will not allow this moment to take you out. You will not allow this moment. To destroy you. You will not allow this moment to take you to a place that you God hasn't ordained for you. You are going to go beyond the moment. You're going beyond the moment, sir. You're going beyond the moment, ma'am. This is your hour to go beyond the moment. And I got I'm gonna do this one and we're gonna amen. But guess what? In this hour, you gotta understand in verse 31, watch what the word of the Lord said. In verse 31, it says, and we know 
What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, what then shall we say? What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? When you look at the calendar, it's the 31st day of the seventh month. <laughs> In other words, God said, I'm still with you. You're getting ready to complete a season. You're in the seventh month. This is the last day of this month, of the seventh month. And God said, I'm working for you. I'm on your side. So God is saying, in this, by tomorrow, here it is, y'all. When you go beyond the moment, tomorrow is the eighth month. So somebody might watch this tomorrow. But if you watch it tomorrow, that's okay. You're going to be already in the eighth month. God said, this is the season of completion. And when you go into the eighth month, God said, this is your season of new beginning. You're going beyond the moment. You will not allow this thing to take you out. You're bigger than that, sir. You're bigger than that, ma'am. You're greater than that, sir. You're greater than that, ma'am. This is the hour. You go beyond the moment. You're going to go. Somebody tell somebody type, I will go beyond the moment. I'm going to beyond the misunderstanding. They didn't like you because they misunderstood you. They didn't like, they didn't like your, they didn't support you because they misunderstood you. Oh, you're going beyond the oddness. Everything that was odd in your life, God said, I'm going to turn it around for your good. God said, you're going to go beyond the miserable state. Everything that was miserable in your life, God said, I'm going to allow you to be strengthened. God said, even E, the emotional state you've been in, sir, the emotional state you've been in, ma'am, God's going to cause you to go beyond the moment. And God said, every negativity that came up against you, God said, it's going to work for you. Ah! They didn't know. They thought they were burying you, but little did they know, they were playing you. And God said, in this season, he, he's going to cause you to go beyond the trouble. This is your hour. God's going to give you double for your trouble. <laughs> because you're going to go beyond the moment. My God, I got to get off here. But guess what? I love you all. I appreciate you sticking with us. Y'all allow me, thanking you for allowing me to be a part of your day. Guess what? Don't allow this moment to cause you to operate in a you. This moment is getting ready to push you towards your movement. I love you. I believe that this is the hour of greater, and your greater is in your later. What are you saying, Bishop? Because your now what? is not your later. This is the hour. You're going to go beyond the moment. I, I need you to say it to somebody. I need you to tag someone. I need you to put it on Facebook, Instagram, whatever. I'm going beyond the moment. And just hashtag motivation of money. Come on. Y'all help me out. Hey Amen. This is the hour. You're going to go beyond the moment. Your now is not your later. I'll see you next time. Same place. Serving the same God. Same time. But with a different word. Right here. On motivation of money. And remember, your now is not your later. Why? Because you're getting ready to go beyond the moment. See you next time, right here on Motivation of Money. Be blessed.